Hey guys, good morning. My name is Brett Grossman. I'm a top leader here with Freedom Financial Solutions and wanted to put together a quick training video here for you today. A lot of individuals were asking over the past few days about a schedule, a work schedule, either part-time or full-time, that is going to put you in the best position to make money here with our opportunity. Um, you know, before I, I get into the, the actual details of what a Monday through Friday or Sunday looks like or what are the best days, there are two words, eight letters, that there's only one way for me to describe the best way to work our opportunity, and that is just work. I, and I know it sounds very vague, and I know it's like, okay, you know, I got that, just work, right? I'm supposed to work, and... And, uh, you know, when I work, results will happen and that's activity. I get all that. But, you know, I, I really, I really want to express this to you. You know, there's the difference between part time and no time. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, I don't understand. What's the difference? The difference between part time and no time is individuals come into our opportunity and they look at what we do. They study the training. They want to study all the products. They want to study everything about the opportunity. They want to study everything about insurance. They want to know everything there is to know about every product, about all the clients, about all the underwriting. And it's information overload, right? And then they wind up never doing anything. So they come in, they're excited, and they work no time. What I'll share with you is you don't need to know everything about our opportunity. You don't need to know everything about the products. You don't need to know everything about underwriting. The great thing about having leaders in our organization is we are going to do the risk assessment with you. You're going to find out some of the basics about a client and then we're going to work with you and help you develop a case, show you which carriers to use and which products to go with. We're gonna do this for you during your first 90 to 120 days until you feel comfortable doing it yourself. And I always joke about this in some of our live trainings. If you can read and write English, you can do this business. Because when you're sitting in the home with a client, you don't need to know everything there is to know about living benefits. If you can read the brochure, you can do the business. It's really that simple. And so, uh, you know, when it comes to scheduling out your calendar, here's what you want to do. You want to, for part-time people, we understand that you're working at a job, what you want to do is you want to schedule out your calendar that makes the most sense for you. Clients are going to be seen Monday through Sunday, anytime. I just came out of an appointment just now. It's 1130 Eastern Standard Time. My appointment was at 10 o'clock. And I was there till 11 o'clock, was able to take care of the husband and did an appointment at 10 a.m. They both took off from work today and was able to help these folks out. Now, that's 10 a.m. on a Wednesday. For some of you, that just may not work because you're at your job. So don't I don't want you to think that that has to be the time, right? We're able to see clients at 8 o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday or on a Monday. We're able to see clients at two o'clock on a Tuesday or a Thursday, and we're able to see clients at seven, eight o'clock at night, you know, any day of the week. So you can't base your schedule based on what other people in our group are doing. You want to base your schedule based on what works best for you. So here's what I'll share with you. If you want to know some ideal times that work best for part-time people, and I'm really going to concentrate on part-time people because full-time people, you can just double what it is that I explain here. So for instance, if you're part-time, you want to go ahead and you want to schedule out your week on Saturdays. So think of it like this. At a traditional uh, job, Monday morning is the first day of the week. Here in our opportunity, Saturday morning, 8 a.m., we'll call that the beginning of the week. It's the same thing. We just start a little bit earlier. So if Saturday is going to be your first day, then what you really want to do is you want to get yourself prepared for that Saturday. So on Saturdays, here's what you want to have on your calendar. You want to have either a dial session, which means that from 9 a.m. or 8 o'clock in the morning till 11 or 12 o'clock in the morning, right, that, that window of time, you want to be on the phone, calling leads, calling your warm market, uh, calling your ERS, 
however it is you're approaching what it is that we're doing, but Saturday mornings is going to be your time to schedule out same day sets. So ideally, you want to schedule on Saturday mornings for an appointment on Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening or for Sunday, latest Monday. Now again, if you're part-time and you can't work that morning or afternoon schedule, then the latest you want to schedule out is for a Monday after five o'clock. So I hope that makes sense, right? So Saturday mornings can be used as a dial session to schedule out same day sets, worst case scenario, next day on Sunday, and then push it to Monday evening or a Monday afternoon, like if you're in a type of job that allows you to break free and you can go out and spend an hour in somebody's home, 100%, I highly encourage you know, that you go ahead and do that. Here's the other way to start off your week as a part-time person. You want to take time on a Saturday to like break off slots. So maybe you have kids, right? I have two kids, 10 and six. And so they have a lot of games and stuff in the morning times. So I want to make time on Saturday morning for my family, for my kids. And if I have to break out early and go to work, at least I, I got that window of time in, right? I got those two, three hours in. But then from, we'll call it 12 p.m. until 5 or 6 p.m. on Saturday, you want to go out and you want to do the door knocks. So you can either do dials or you can do door knocks. Now, I'm going to recommend that if you're starting off brand new and you're doing B leads, you door knock first, call second. Whereas with fresh leads, they are to be called first and door knock second, okay? So that's one way to block out your Saturday and start your week as a part-time person. Here's another way to do it. Maybe you don't have kids. Maybe you're not married. Maybe you have all the time in the world and you have the opportunity to really, really explode this thing. You want to go out and you want to start your day at 9 a.m. on Saturday, let's say. And you literally want to door knock from 9 a.m. to maybe 2 p.m. or 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Now, what I like to do on Saturdays, and again, I am part-time in the field Why? Because I still need to stay fresh between my left and right ear so that I can provide the right feedback because I want to be able to train you guys on exactly what it is that we're seeing in the field with clients. But what you can do is, is you can literally work all day on a Saturday or you can work a half day. You get to determine that. But Saturday is going to be your number one best day in the field, not just to see clients, but if you go out and you door knock on Saturday and let's say you spent half the day or, or the whole day. Well, anybody that you didn't have an opportunity to get in front of, you were able to schedule the next day. Or maybe you caught a husband and wife walking out of a house and they were on their way to go do something on a Saturday, but they said, listen, you caught us at a bad time, but I'm glad that you followed up on this. Can you come back tomorrow and see us at the same time? So now you have an appointment. Matt Lusky, Matt Lusky, part-time, works 40 hours a week. He does a phenomenal, phenomenal job at doing this where he'll go out, he'll door knock on a Saturday or Sunday, Bam, he sets up his Monday, Tuesday, not just from being able to go in and get same day sits because your whole goal, this is a different training topic, but your whole goal when you're doing a door knock is to get an immediate sit. Now, if you can't, your second goal is to schedule that appointment, either same day or next day. Matt Lusky does a phenomenal job. He's going to do almost close to 15000 this month working part-time, okay? That's one way to do it you can duplicate that same effort on Sunday for part-time people. Now, personally, right, I believe in maybe doing that half the day. A lot of people go to church in the morning. A lot of people go to brunch and they do that sort of type of thing. They do the family thing. And so I've never been a, a, a big believer in going out on a Sunday morning and doing what we duplicate on a Saturday. But I believe anytime after 12 or 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon up until 6 on a Sunday, is duplicatable. And again, you may not immediately be able to get into the sit, but at least you'll be able to schedule something for your Monday, Tuesday, because you always want to keep it close knit. Anything you schedule on your calendar outside of two days, you have a 50% less chance of having either a no show or a reschedule. It's just, it's just a statistical fact. So that's how you'll start out the first two days of your week is on Saturdays and Sundays. Now, if you wanted to also not necessarily door knock on a Sunday, you can still make the dials between two 
and five or six or even seven o'clock on a Sunday. Why? Because people are home. People are relaxing. It's a great time to have a conversation with people. They're not in the middle of their work week. They're very chilled out. Saturdays and Sundays will be your money days. You can build a business part-time making 10, 15, $20,000 a month in just working, if you just worked every weekend if you wanted to. Or if you work two weekends out of the month and then you built up your week. So that's one way to structure your week. Here's the other way to structure your week for part-time people. Pick two days out of the week. Maybe that's a Tuesday and a Thursday. And after work, you get done at five o'clock, for example, you're gonna go ahead and you're going to run your appointments. You're gonna do one at six, and you're gonna do one at eight o'clock at night. So you're gonna space them out. And if you did that on Tuesday and you did that on Thursday, that is the definition of part-time. Or maybe Monday and Wednesdays work better for you. You can schedule it that way. Or what I always like to do was I always like to pick, when I did part-time, I did a Tuesday or a Wednesday back-to-back, and then I would switch it over, and I always scheduled out a Friday night. Now, here's what I can share with you on Friday nights. If you schedule appointments on Friday nights, here's what I'll tell you. 99.9% of the people that you schedule with will be there, and they're ready to buy. No one will block out their Friday night after a long week of work to meet with you unless they're serious about making a decision about doing something. And so I highly recommend, as highly as I recommend working Saturdays and Sundays, is how strongly I feel about taking appointments on Friday evenings. So, for a part-time person, you can schedule out your week however you like. But if you're going to pick the money days, the money days for you are going to be Friday evenings, anytime on Saturday, or anytime on Sunday. You don't necessarily have to work both Saturday and Sunday. You can just pick one or the other. Saturdays, though, just tend to be the money day. Friday nights, phenomenal. And honestly, any day during the week that you can schedule appointments outside of your full-time job is going to be a great day uh, to meet with clients and help people. So again, in the earlier conversation, I just just work. There's, there's no magic pill and there's no magic or rhyme or reason behind it. When you put in the activity and you put in the work, The clients will happen. The AP will happen. The issue paid business will happen. It's amazing what happens when you actually pick up the phone. It's amazing what happens when you get out of your car and you go knock on the door and you meet with the clients. This is how this this business works. Because what happens is, is then you're sitting in front of people, you're having the conversations, and you're practicing. You're gaining the experience that you need in order to become a successful agent, in order to make that transition from part-time over to full-time. Okay, so full-time. Full-time gals and guys, how do you do it? Just double your activity. That's it. Instead of working maybe two days during the week, two days during the week, pick three days. Maybe you do appointments on Monday nights, Wednesday nights, Friday nights, and then you work a Saturday or Sunday. So there's your four. Or maybe you do Tuesday, Wednesday, and then you work Friday night, and then you work Saturday. There's your four. Right? So, so basically what I'm saying is if you're part-time, you're looking at two and a half to three days a week part-time working this business, seeing clients. Now, every appointment should take you about an hour. So think about that. So say it takes you 45 minutes to an hour to get to an appointment. You're in the appointment for an hour and then an hour to get back. All right, so that's three hours. It shouldn't take you 45 minutes to an hour, but let's just say it did. I mean, to make... On average, anywhere from a thousand to three thousand dollars an hour, are you willing to do that? I mean, if you are, then you're part time. If you're not, then you're no time, right? And that's just how this works. So if you're full time, you just double the activity. That's it. And my philosophy, and you can go back and you can watch some videos that we've done in the past, is if you're out there on a Saturday, don't go home until you have an application, period. It it was a decision that I made five years ago when I started going out in the field on Saturdays. I refused to come home to my wife and kids without an application. No way, no how. 
And what I'll share with you is there is a little bit of magic in that because when you make a definitive decision and then you go after it and you refuse to come home without something, well, it's amazing what happens when you do that last knock or when you make that last call. It's always an application. Why? Because you had to go through whatever your day was like in order to be given that gift at the end. And so that that is the best way that I can explain the schedule to you guys is those are your money days. Those are your part-time schedule days. These are your full-time schedule days. You want to work five days a week if you're full-time? Phenomenal. You want to work six days a week? Phenomenal. You want to pull in the twenty-five, the $30,000 months? You got to go full-time and you got to put in the, the work effort. You want to do 10, 12, 15,000, 8,000, 5,000? Be part-time. The amount of days that you work in the field, the amount of appointments that you schedule will totally dictate how much money you're able to earn and how many people you help. And I'm, I'm going to show you something, not out of ego, I'm going to show you something to, to really hammer home that your calendar is your indicator of your income. And, and hopefully you guys can see this, but actually I'll turn it around this way and then we'll just shut it down here. So your calendar, can you see that? Your calendar is an indicator of your income. And so if your calendar is not full, your calendar, your calendar has to be full. It has to be full. Because if your calendar isn't full, then you're not going to have any activity, then you're not going to have any income. And then you're going to be no time. You're not going to be part time. So I hope that helps. And we have June 15th. It's mandatory for all brand new agents coming on board. If you want to learn exactly how we're doing, what we're doing, what questions to ask, everything about this opportunity that's going to help you get out of the gate quick, got to come June 15th. Guys, have a great week.